So in this video, we're going to be learning about a programming language called C. C is a programming language that is one of the most popular still in use today, even though it was invented way back in 1972. The reason for C uh, being so popular is because it's a small language, it's easy to learn, and it's really, really fast. The reason C is so fast is because any code you write in C is compiled directly into machine code. Machine code is the binary code that your processor directly executes. So, for example, with a language like Python, it's sometimes criticized for being slow because it's interpreted. Python is a lot slower than C because there's an extra layer of abstraction between the actual processor and the Python code itself. Python code is compiled into Python bytecode, and the bytecode is executed within the Python virtual machine, which is another program that runs on your computer. C is different because it doesn't have a virtual machine. Any code you write in C is compiled directly into the machine code that runs on your processor itself. So you don't have that layer of uh, abstraction in between the processor and the actual code. This is one of the ways that C is a really fast language. Another reason for C being really fast is because you have to declare the type of every variable before you use it. You don't have to do that in Python because Python uh, works out the type of the variable itself at runtime, but C does all this in advance when you compile it, so it doesn't have to do any of that when it's running, which is one of the reasons it's really fast. So uh, now I've told you some stuff about C, let's actually uh, start learning it. So here I have a blank file called learn.c, and this is where we're going to put our C code. Uh, so if I go to this folder here, you can see here's the file here, learn.c, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a basic Hello World program. Don't worry if you don't understand what any of this does at the moment, uh, I'll explain it uh, after I've finished. So this is sort of the basic C program, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it to output Hello World to the screen. So uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this, and then I'll explain it uh, line by line afterwards. So here I am in the terminal. Uh, the way you run a C program is you compile it. What I'm going to be using is a compiler called GCC. Uh, but if you're on Mac, the way you install a C compiler is you download Xcode, and then from Xcode you download the uh, Apple developer tools, and then within that you will have your C compiler. On Windows you can download Visual Studio, or, or you can download a C compiler called MinGW. Uh, I'll have links to all these in the description so that you can download them and get set up really quickly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to compile it now. So the way I compile it is I say GCC because I'm using the GCC compiler. Then I give it the file name, so I've called mine learn.c. Then uh, what I can do is I can hit enter or I can give it um, a name for the binary, but for now I'll just hit enter. So you can see that compiled the file. So if I click, if I type in ls, this will list all the files in the directory. So you can see we got one called a.out and we got learn.c. So learn.c was the file that was originally there, but a.out wasn't originally there. So if I go to finder again, you'll see now we have an executable called a.out. So if I run this, I uh, run this by putting a dot and a backslash, and then I type a dot out, and I uh, hit enter. You can see it says hello world here. There's no new line because I didn't put a new line character in. Uh, on Windows, you'll get a dot exe. So the way you run it on Windows is you just put in a dot exe. You don't have the back the uh, dot backslash on Windows. So there we have it. The program just ran. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into the text editor. I'm going to put a new line. So the way I put a new line is I put a backslash and then an N. A backslash is an escape character. So that tells C that the next character after the backslash uh, is a special character that it doesn't actually want to output. So this tells C not to output the N, but instead to treat this as a new line. So if I compile this again, I just uh, type gcc learn.c, run it, uh, that compiles it and I type a.out again, you can see now I get hello world and there's a new line between hello world and uh, the next part of the command prompt. So the first line of this file says include stdio.h. What that is, is it's a file that has loads of functions in it related to input output. stdio stands for standard input output. Then what I do is I created a function called main. Uh, main is the function the C compiler looks for, and that's the first function that it executes whenever it runs your program. So you have to have a main function. Uh, but don't worry about it too much for now. The next line is printf. This stands for print formatted, which means just print out text to the screen. Printf is stored within the stdio.h uh, file, 
and that's why we can use it. If I don't include stdio.h, I can't use printf. Printf is just sort of the equivalent of, for example, Python as a print function. Uh, PHP has an echo or a print keyword, uh, so C just as printf. Then uh, we return zero. Uh, don't worry about that for now. But notice how statements in C also end with a semicolon. In Python, you could type, say, print, and you could just say, hello world, and just leave it at that, and it would work. But in C, you have to have a semicolon at the end of each statement. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.